But here's Irma. It is a very, very powerful category for a hurricane. Winds are around 150 miles per hour. 156 is a category five. And you can see here again, well-defined eye heading right toward the Leeward Islands here. And it looks like it's going to, they're going to be taking a direct hit by this on uh, the next 24 to 48 hours, 36 hours of that before it starts curving a little more to the northwest. So again, still watching this one here as it continues to work its way there off to the, uh, again, west at this point at 14 miles per hour. Winds are again, 150 again, almost the top end of category four pressure down to 937. That is some very low pressure with this. You can just tell how intense this is. Now the forecast models you can see here somewhat agreements for a while, then they start spreading out after day three, some going up there across the spine of Florida. And as we mentioned yesterday, a few of them could potentially go on into the far eastern Gulf of Mexico. This is the Canadian model, by the way, the far western one there. So again, take the Canadian one with a grain of salt because it's more forecast for winter storms than tropical systems. But uh, nonetheless, so you can see kind of clumped here along the west coast of Florida as we head on into uh, next week. So again, we're looking at some potentially here during next week, potentially there possibly into Florida. It looks like the best case scenario, at least at this point. But again, a lot can change between now and then. We're still talking over a week away or about a week away so it gets to even the Florida area as well, too. So here's what the latest forecast track. Now, this is going to look very ominous here. So again, just let me kind of explain what we have going on with this here. Again, a lot can change with this. It's far enough away. It's got to go past all these islands with 10,000 foot mountains on it. A lot more weather data is also going to be going on into this forecast as well. Started to do that last night. We'll continue to see that here over the next couple of days, but maintaining a category four strength here all the way through the entire lifespan here as we go on into Friday here Saturday. This is Saturday Sunday one o'clock in the morning, not too far away from the Florida Straits here. It is expected to be pulling to the north. You saw in this forecast models that making that turn to the north. There's a trough low pressure coming in that would help to pull it northward there, which was why we're seeing that toward the end here. And why we're seeing it here kind of shift a little more here while it is to the west, but still farther to the north as well. So it's going to be making that turn and pull there. Thing is, we have that front coming through our area, and with that front, that's what's helping to pull this more to the north. High pressure building behind it, so we're going to have some northerly winds in place here. So if this should possibly get into the eastern part of the Gulf of Mexico, would be the first part of next week there. So all interests along the Florida Panhandle, all the way back down the Florida Peninsula. Definitely need to watch this one for sure as we go forward over the next couple of days. So again, now's the time just need to think about what do you need to do just in case where should you go and things like that you need to keep all that in mind here as we go forward. But right now, though, again, looks like more of a Florida storm we're looking at right now. So again, we'll continue to watch them a lot of time to continue to watch this. Remember, it's still way out in the Atlantic, so thousands of miles away from here. So definitely worth watching for sure. So I'll keep doing that. We'll have more updates, of course, throughout the rest of the morning. But again, just to just keep an eye on it. I am as well now. Back